So today we're going to be doing something a little different. Most of the time I do uh, just a vape video, uh, but I also do other videos that are on my YouTube channel. Some of you have seen this, some of you have not. Those who have not, go. Go learn. I teach. Anyways, so while I cook today, I'm going to be vaping. And today, we're going to be making dragon turds. Yes, turds of the dragon. So, essentially what a dragon turd is, it's a habanero stuffed with cream cheese. Wrapped in bacon. Now, some of you are wondering, hey, why is this guy using great value stuff? That is not what's important. I'm trying to teach you focus. Anyways, so, <clears throat> there's really not much to teach. You take the habanero and you gut it out. You cut the top off. And you got it out. Like so. Then you stuff it with cream cheese, which I'll demonstrate here for you in a second. And then you wrap it in bacon. Now there's two ways you can wrap it in bacon. You can go top to bottom or round and round. Really, I don't care which version of the hokey pokey you like, it doesn't really matter. So once you have wrapped it in bacon, then you're gonna want to put it on the middle shelf at 350 for about seven to 10 minutes. And then you're gonna to wanna to flip them because the bacon that's on the bottom will be mostly raw. Still flip it, switch it to broil and hit it for another couple minutes. So here's the habanero. Ooh, one, two. Here's another habanero. Cream cheese. And you just stuff it in. You just cram it in there. Push. Push it real good. And just keep putting it in until pretty much the habanero starts to break. Now if it starts to break, that is okay. Because we will be bandaging these with bacon. Yes. Bacon. Okay, so I was going to open the bacon, but then I figured why do that when I have my very own little minion? Hi team, fans, group of people that probably just watch videos because they show up in their feed and they have an obsessive compulsive disorder to watch everything that comes up. <laughs> Stop laughing. This is not funny. People have serious sicknesses with this. <laughs> it is not their fault. I blame social media. <laughs> Anyways, he's gonna do the bacon. So go do the bacon. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. That's Zach, by the way. He's Thank my offspring. He's my offspring. I'm gonna continue stuffing the No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Why would I... no, no, because this is a hybrid video. This is hybrid video. So the other half of this video that I wanted to do while he's trying to figure out how to open up a pack of bacon, I'm working on it. Don't worry. I'm working on this kid. He needs help. So I'm going to, I'm coming back to the, the, my cyclone again. Uh, the other day I did a, a review on the Goliath. Um, so even after having the Goliath for, uh, it was on my second day hitting it. Uh, I pulled the top off, dripped on it, put the top back on, went to fire on it, and it managed to ground out while I was inside again. So I think I'm going to rebuild on the Goliath later, and it's going to be uh, probably going to do a smaller, smaller wrap. I'll probably do a 26 gauge, and I might do a 2.5 millimeter wrap. Maybe I'm thinking that might be a little bit better. Why don't you just use scissors? Scissors. No, put that in the sink. Scissors. <laughs> I'll get him. I will get him. So, anyway, so uh, I, I can't hit on the Goliath right now, So and, and I really just didn't feel like doing another build. Uh, today I was spending a lot of time playing video games and eating Mexican food. So, I'm going to do, so we got the Cyclone here. 
Um, it's a tank that I've already reviewed twice. Not gonna go for it a third time. You you guys already know I love it. So, but I'm gonna I'm doing a different uh, juice today. I'm doing uh, some Addy Boy, uh, and this has nicotine in it. I've been really jonesing for a cigarette lately. I haven't had one, but I'm very I'm, I've been very close a few times. So I'm doing this one. This it's my uh, backup vape that I have has nicotine in it. I was hitting it earlier, and oh oh. The, oh, the throat poundings I was taking. Don't you need another cutting board? That's fine. Is that medias? <laughs> it's the nigga, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 there's pepper in my hands. Why would I do that? Don't do drugs. That would be my luck. People wonder... It said check battery. I'm not lying. Also, this is why I like vaping because I can cook and vape at the same time and it's not really gonna affect anything. I don't have to worry about getting ashes inside your food. Anyways, back to the cutting board. So. There we go. So back, so back to the cooking. Anyways, uh, so I like, I'm still loving my uh, Cyclone tank. Um, I've never actually had a tank last me this long uh, without wanting to switch out. Uh, the one I, I did come close with the Heracles, Heracles, Herac, Herac, Heracles, that tank that I like also by Sense. So I think Sense is a really good company uh, that makes these. So next step to the Dragon Turd. See, what I'm doing here is a serious case of video ADD. I'm going back and forth. You don't know what I'm going to be talking about next. For all you... Bacon. Two pieces of bacon. Although, it's American. So, I take the bacon and I wrap it. Like so. I do like one that way. Now, I'm all about the bacon. So, when I get one wrap... Remember when I said earlier when you could do a round or top to bottom and it's a hokey pokey I don't care about? What I do is I actually do one full circle around and then I do one top to bottom yeah <laughs> completely wrapped in bacon and I know what you guys are thinking but how do you keep it together minion grab a toothpick thank you toothpick toothpick people it is the easiest tool ever and it keeps your dragon turd in place I just want to raw bacon I would it might do it you'd eat it anyways I, I probably would so and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do the dragon turn now remember I mentioned it earlier I'll mention it again 350 middle rack I think I said seven to ten minutes we'll go with that seven to, you guys know what bacon looks like when you look in the oven and your bacon is looking almost done not all the way done but almost done you flip it and then broil just the one side so that way it's straight down heat, okay? That is how you do it. And then enjoy. Be careful. It's a habanero. It's hot. People are like, oh, this is so hot. It's a habanero. Of course it's hot. I have no idea what's going on with this kid. I, I really don't. Seriously. I think it's puberty. All right, peace. I'm out. So I just finished uh, wrapping all the bacon. I'm lying. I don't wrap the bacon. I was wrapping the pepper. Sorry, I got pepper all over it. <laughs> Everything. So there it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, and you can see our nifty little trash can, all the crap in there. But that's not important. Focus. Focus on... The heavenliness. Uh, I don't know why I was still showing you that. I, I don't know. Anyways, so because I'm doing it tomorrow, I'm going to uh, put this. Apparently, I have to cover it with tin foil or grodiness gets on it. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are with this stuff. I just know you do it. So, cover it with tin foil, put it in the refrigerator. It only takes me like 20 minutes to cook in the morning. So, unless I'm running really late, I'll, even if I'm running really late, I'm still doing it. 
So, and I had to use two packages of bacon, and uh, I'm gonna channel my buddy, uh, as you guys know him, Fam Bam. Uh, he just recently did a video of never wasting bacon. I'm not that extreme, but I'm definitely not wasting any bacon. Anyways, thanks for joining in, and I will see you guys next time. Say hi, say hi, say hi. Look, hey everybody. Hey, so she doesn't want to be, in the, look, she's put her hand up. I don't know why she's doing, there she goes, she's running, taking the dog. Why are you taking the dog? Oh, now she's flipping off the camera, there's kids that watch this.